Hey guys, today we're gonna to be looking at personal budgets. We're gonna answer the question, what are key components to a personal budget and how can it be calculated? So a budget is an estimated plan of income and expenses over a fixed period of time. So a lot of people will have a yearly or a monthly budget. A personal budget is a tool used to monitor and manage your spend spending by helping you balance your personal income against expected spending. A monthly personal budget is usually most common. So fixed expenses includes costs such as rent, car insurance, or car payments that do not change from month to month. And then variable expenses include costs such as groceries, utilities like gas, water, electricity, and entertainment that will vary from month to month. So here is Caden's monthly budget. Each category is assigned a certain percentage of his $3,000 monthly income. We're gonna answer the questions below based on the information given in the table. So the first question says, how much does Caden's house payment cost? So Caden is taking $3,000 home a month and 35% of that is going towards his house payment. So to figure out his house payment, I would take that $3,000 and you can do a percent proportion or just multiply by 0.35 for the 35%. And that will tell us how much his house payment cost. So 3,000 times 0.35 is $1,050. So his housing payment is $1,050. Two says, how much does Caden spend on groceries and entertainment combined? So groceries are 20% and entertainment is 10% and 20% plus 10% is 30%. So he's going to spend 30% of his $3,000 on groceries and entertainment. So to figure out how much money that is, we will do 3000 times 0.3 and 3,000 times 0.3 is $900. So he will spend $900 on groceries and entertainment combined. And then the last question about this table says, what is the total cost of Caden's fixed expenses per month? So his fixed expenses are the ones that are not going to change. He cannot do anything to change them. So that would be his housing payment. Savings, he could change that. Groceries would change from month to month. Car payment is not going to change. And then his utilities and entertainment budgets could change. So his fixed expenses are the house and the car payment, which is 35% and 17%. So I'm going to add those together to figure out the percentage of his fixed expenses and that would be 52%. So now I want to find 52% of $3,000. So I'm going to do 3,000 times 0.52 and 3,000 times 0.52 would be $1,560. Okay, let's look at this next table. It says Lori brings home a monthly income of $2,400. Her monthly budget is shown in the table. So this time they gave us dollar amounts for each of her things. Four says, what percentage of Lori's monthly income does her rent account for? So her rent is $840 out of the $2,400 that she brings home. And I want to know what percent that is out of 100. So now I'm going to cross and multiply to solve this. 840 times 100 would be 84,000. And it equals X times 2400, which would be 2400 X. So to figure out the percentage that her rent is, I would do 84,000 divided by 2400. 
and I would get 35%. So her rent accounts for 35% of her monthly income. Five says what percentage of Lori's monthly income is used to pay for her car payment and her gas. So her car payment is $309. And she spent $75 on gas, or that's what she's planning to spend on gas. So that will tell me when I add those two together how much she's going to pay on her car payment and gas in total, and that would be $384. So she spends $384 out of her $2,400 on her car payment and gas. I want to know what percentage that is out of 100. So now I'm going to cross multiply to solve this. 384 times 100 would be 38,400. And then X times 2,400 is 2,400 X. And then I would divide by 2,400 to determine that percentage. And 38,400 divided by 2,400 is 16%. Number six says, true or false, more than 50%, 15% of Lori's monthly income goes towards emergency and college savings. So her emergency savings is $240. And her college savings are $150. And that is $390. So let's figure out out of her 2,400 monthly income, what percent that $390 that's going towards her savings is. So now I'm gonna cross multiply, 390 times 100 is 39,000, and then X times 2,400 is 2,400 X, and then we're gonna divide by 2,400, and that will tell me what the percentage is so we can see if it's more or less than the 15%. So 39,000 divided by 2400 is 16.25%. So that would be true. She is saving more than 15%. Okay, then seven says, true or false, more than one third of Lori's income is used to pay her rent. So her rent was, we figured that out on number four, it was 35% of her monthly income, which is more than a third of her income. So this was true. Number eight 